Hey guys, so I just got this bag in the mail. This is a K9 Sportsac Rover, and I just want to take a few minutes to just talk about all the new features that it comes with. Okay, so right off the bat, you're gonna notice a bunch of cool new features that this bag comes with. First one being the padded hip belt that you have. This comes with two zippers with some small pockets on the side, and you can put some dog treats, some poop bags, or some small snacks that you might carry with you along the day. You also have molly webbing. Um, what I use this for is I'll put like a carabiner on, and I carry my dog's water bowl with me. Um, it's a nice convenient spot, so I can just take it off and uh, use, my, use my water bladder to just fill up his bowl real quick. You also have a padded back which is gonna be great. It helps with um, some ventilation so you don't sweat so much in your back as well, so it keeps your body away from this bag. And you also have a hood. This hood is good. You can easily pop it off real quick. It'll help your dog with the rain if you get caught in it by any chance um, or anything like that. My favorite feature on this bag is this big, large bottom compartment. You can fit a lot of stuff in here. You can fit extra clothes, a jacket. I actually, right now, just to show you a size comparison, I have my sleeping bag in here. So it can fit that easily. It's pretty big. The zippers, I also noticed they made them thicker. Um, you also can't, they're kind of like a lock zip, which is pretty cool. So I can't zip this side with the other zipper. So a cool feature with this detachable bag is it comes with a hole for your water bladder, the hose itself. Um, K9 Sports Sack will supply you with a one and a half liter bladder. I have a three liter bladder that I put in here and it actually fits in here perfectly. Uh, let me just do that real quick. So this is a three liter Camelback. It fits in this bag, literally like, it can't get any more perfect than that. The way that I set this up when I go to use it, I detach my hose. I put my hose through this ring right here. Bring it around the other side, through this hole right here, and then snap it back into my bladder. I can close it and I have all this extra room. So when I snap this onto my chest, I like to take my water bladder, put it right here and it's conveniently accessible and it's also out of the way. It's not dangling around. So a cool thing about this bag is it's lined with a material called Outlast. It's a temperature regulation material and it keeps the, the inside of the bag at one temperature, no matter what the outside air is. Um, your dog, um, the heat or cool, it'll keep it right into this material and it'll help uh, your dog with, with your adventure throughout the day. You also have side pockets. This will help, this is actually a mesh material Again, it is going to help ventilate more air into it if you need it. And it's on both sides as well. So this bag comes in a large, an extra large, or an extra extra large. This bag in particular is a large. This bag fits my Corgi nicely. Um, I wanted to do it with a bigger dog, but I wasn't able to match up my schedule with any of my friends. Um, as you guys know, I have a Corgi, so I'm going to get a bag that fits my corgi but I also am gonna see if I can fit my friends larger dogs in this bag in the near future so uh, just keep an eye out for that as well okay so I'm not gonna go into too much detail on how to put your dog in the bag I covered that in the last video that I made but I'm just gonna do a quick rundown I'm gonna put my dog in the bag real quick just so I can show you some of the features and uh, use them that so that you can see them firsthand So I have my dog right here, we're gonna get him into the bag. As you guys know, he did really well with treats last time, but I'm at the point where I don't even need to put treats. He's really good. He sits nice and calm for me. So I can't complain about that.
Again, you have a loop on the zipper itself. You're gonna put the, the buckle through that loop so that the zipper doesn't come down. This bag, again, with like the Air Plus, it has the two back straps that you can tighten. So the first one, put it on, tighten it. Second one, put it on, tighten it. And then it has two, two on the sides that you can tighten as well. Okay, so I'll be right back. I'm gonna put on my back real quick. Okay guys, so I have the, the pack fully on. As you can see, my dog's up here, he's comfortable. Now, if I need to take a sip of water when I'm hiking, I can just take this. This is why I put this here. I can just take it off and my water is easily accessible to me. Put it back. And this is what I was talking about with my dog's water bowl. I can take this. This is the strap right here, the molly webbing. Take it off. I can actually take my water bladder, put some water in it. I can hold it up to my dog so he can drink some water. So the back straps that I was talking about before, the weight distribution straps, they're going to be on both sides. So when I'm going up a hill, I want to take these two straps and put my dog close to me. And this is going to help him sit closer to my back so that while I'm going uphill, he's not leaning backwards and I'm getting, you know, pulled back. And vice versa, when I'm going downhill, I want to take these two straps, pull them away from me. And then as I'm going downhill, my dog's a little bit further away from me so he's not on my back and I'm getting pushed forward. So I'm just going to take them off real quick and we'll talk about a little other things as well. Okay, so in the previous video that I made, I had some people asking me how do you correctly size your dog. So I just wanted to go over that real quick. What you do is if you have a measuring tape, you're gonna take uh, your measuring tape and you're gonna start it from about his collar right here. And you're gonna take it, you're gonna bring it back, measure it all the way up to his butt. So as soon as you get to his butt, you're gonna read that and then you can match it up to the sizing chart. Um, you also are going to measure the girth of your dog as well. So you can take your measuring tape and you can just bring it around your dog, see where that is, and then you're just going to put it onto the chart as well. Um, and then that's how you can figure out what size bag you're going to need. If you're in between the two bags, what I would do is I would go to the next size bag up. And if your dog's too short, Canine Sports Sack actually has foam padding that you can put on the bottom of the bag that will help rise your dog up a little bit more. Another question that I had was, is this hurting your dog? Is it uncomfortable for your dog? Um, my personal opinion is no. My dog, he lets me know when he's uncomfortable and he would definitely start moving around a lot, which he has not done. I had one instance to where he started moving around and repositioning himself in the bag. Um, and I took him out of the bag. Uh, I had him in the bag after that and he hasn't done it since. Like I said, it was just a one time thing. Um, but if you notice that your dog's repositioning himself a lot, maybe just take him out of the bag and then just try putting him back in or her again. I wouldn't have my dog in the bag for more than 45 minutes at a time. Um, but that's just me. That's what the website recommends. And he honestly never has to be in the bag for more than 45 minutes. Cause if I'm ever going somewhere where he can't, he can't be walking for most of the times then I typically won't bring him. I'll leave him at home. So when I first started telling my friends about this new bag that fits larger dogs, the first question to me was, why would I bring a bag for my dog that can walk anywhere um, if he's so big? Well, you're not always going to be able to let your dog walk everywhere. Like if you go to New York City, which I live local to New York City, I can bring my dog and let him walk around the streets. But if I need to take any type of public transportation, such as the, uh, the train, they're not going to let him onto the train unless he's in a bag. A lot of people will take their dogs and put them in a bag and this is most convenient for me. I can stand up when I'm in the train and just let him ride um, until we get to our next destination and when we get off the train I can let him off the bag. So this past Christmas I went to a tree farm. They don't allow dogs there but I explained to an employee that I had my dog in a bag and he wasn't going to be walking around. The employee let, actually let me walk around and pick out a tree that I wanted. So that's just one instance as to where this bag helped me out. Um, when I knew I wouldn't be able to have my dog there otherwise. I wouldn't recommend it. I wouldn't try and go and push the limits to see where you can and cannot have your dog. It's just something for me. I had my dog with me. I had my, my bag in the back of my car. So it worked out in my advantage. So if you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment below. I do my best to answer everyone's questions. 
especially within the same day. Um, so other than that, just please subscribe, uh, like this video if it helped you out at all, and tell me what I can do in the next video to answer any questions that you may have. Say bye, Colby!